Roy, would you have beaten all the light heavyweights today? For me? Yeah, you. Don't ask me that question. Before. Yeah, I've got to. I had too smart. You know, I think I could be there. I think I beat them all today. I think I would have because of my speed. Yeah. But that don't, that don't necessarily mean that's true because they watch me. They've gotten better too. They learn from me. So they've gotten much better. Maybe better than I am. Now. Would I you? Know. Would you like to have fought Isaac and Kovalev and Ward? I'll move up the division. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to say that because I like these guys so much, and it's like seeing these guys come up and admire me as who I am doesn't give me an urge to want to fight them because it's like I wouldn't want, I wouldn't have had no desire to fight a Muhammad Ali because I learned my life came from him. Without him, I wouldn't have had. Life. So why I want to go and fight? Like when I fought Mike McCallum, y'all can say this for um, who's getting in the train trilogy. Sanchez. Abel Sanchez. When I fought Mike McCallum, I fought Mike McCallum because Mike McCallum told me he was in a situation and he needed a little help. And he was willing to fight for that little help. So I said, you know what, Mike? On most occasions, I wouldn't fight you. But if you need help and you're in a situation, I'll do it for you. Only for you. In the 10th round, Mike started to feel a little frisky because I really was kind of carrying him. And he came at me a little bit. I said, okay, let me show you something, Mike. Pop, 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 and down Mike go. <laughs> so don't get this twisted. I ain't not gonna I have to try to do this to you, but I'm trying to do what you ask me to do to your favor, right? But I went out there to hurt Mike McCallum because that's not who I want and not who I am. You feel where I'm coming from? But so Abel says, we're for Mike McCallum. Well, I didn't want to fight Mike McCallum. I did that because Mike needed help all the time. In box, if I can help anybody, I will help him. No, that's the amazing thing about you because, you know, the, 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 what you've achieved, I mean, you are going to be one of the great modern legends of the sport, right? clearly. Um, do you feel a duty to pass on all your knowledge? Of course to I do. Guys? Of course I do. And he'll tell you. He's the only one here to I got a whole crew of I try to teach them everything I know. I sometimes tell them, come to the gym, tell them what y'all want to know today. <laughs> because that means they got to do their homework. They got to go back and see what they want. Tell me what it is you want, I'll give it to you. Tell me what y'all want today. I have days like that. I have days I come in, God give me what to give them. But the day when I don't feel that that has, has happened, I ask them what y'all want to know today. When somebody, when he fought um, Kovalev, some people said he kind of exposed Kovalev to a certain extent. What do you think he would do in a rematch with you and his mom? He ain't gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it at that.